Now someone walks up to you and like rip what comes to your head? Foundation. Hmm. Okay. Simple but deep. Yeah. Foundation of the human entity. Foundation of you as a person. Foundation of everything. Careful of the woman who single-handedly killed yourself. Hmm. Two kids, no married. And you say, oh, you rape. As you like, but you foolish, I didn't rape you two times. I don't understand. She didn't ask for Does it. Does somebody plan to be raped? Like, I don't get it. I was like, so I don't even get the story. Like, I didn't go rape you two times. They say most beating, I shy. Most of the victims are not even afraid for themselves. They're afraid of what the society will see. That's you make your son respect his sister. Because if your son respects his sister, he respects someone's sister. Good morning and welcome to the live show with Sinusure. Still your favorite girl. Um, today's episode of TLS with Sinusure, I have with me in the studio a very special guest. I mean special, special, special. Okay, and her name is Marijan. Welcome to the studio, Marijan. Thank you. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. All right, before we get, thank you. Before we get started, so just tell us a bit about Marijan. Well, Marijan. Well, my name is Marijan Jibril Ahmed. I was born up right here in Kano. My parents are from the south side part of Nigeria, a little precise. And I'm a fashion designer. Oh, no wonder you look all beautiful and glamorous. Oh, <laughs> Alright, welcome to the studio once again. Okay, today my John, um we're actually talking about we're looking at rape. You know, um rape is one thing the society frowns at. When I mean frowns are, they don't really want the victims to talk about it. You notice that a lot of people are being raped, both the male and the female, and they find it very difficult to talk about it because the society alone is making it difficult or makes it difficult for them to talk about it. So, um, now someone walks up to you and like, rip. What comes to your head? Violation. Hmm. Okay. Simple but deep. Yeah. Violation of the human entity, violation of you as a person, violation of everything. All the natural arts, everything. That person is violating it by raping. Because that's what I feel like. Because rape is not only a damage to the body, it's a damage to the body, the heart, the soul, the mind, everything about the person. Yeah. And if not careful, it's like killing a person. Like, you rip somebody, it's just like pointing a gun to that person's head and pulling the trigger. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Now, there's this um, there's this thing with rape victims. You know, a lady get raped and. She finds it difficult to confide in someone. She finds it very difficult to talk to someone because she's scared of what the society thinks. She's scared of what her parents think. She's very, she's scared of what her, her friends or, or her siblings would think or what the whole nation would think about her because a lot of people just see like, okay, this lady was raped. The next question that comes to the head, what was she wearing? Most times, like 80% of encounters that I've had with victims, the next question that comes up after they saying I was raped is, what were you wearing? Where were you at the time of the rape? Like, do you think these questions are actually necessary? Mm -hmm. They're not. Because for me, there is no reason for me. Definitely. No reason whatsoever. It doesn't matter what the person was wearing, where the person was at, whatever signal. Because it was like she was signaling me, whatever signal they were giving you, stop means stop. Yeah. 
So there is no reason whatsoever not to even say, eh, it's a reason, Sha. I know some people will be like, eh, it's a reason, Sha. You are wearing explosive clothes. Yeah. No, it's no reason. There was, there is no reason at all or it being good enough for me. None. Okay, now you 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 find yourself or okay, let's say you find yourself in a situation where you have to cancel um, a rape victim. What do you think you tell this victim to help him or her to get over that trauma? Because believe me, it's a trauma. It's 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 a trauma. It's a stigma. It's something that can actually stay for a very long time. I'm actually saying it out of experience. So it's something that can stay for a very long time. It's going to take a whole lot of effort to get this person out of that mindset. Because the truth is, you noticed um, someone is being raped, and people just feel like it's something to just get over in in seconds or in minutes or in a snap of a finger, but. Believe me, it's something that can actually last a very long time. Most times, these victims end up becoming something else, if not properly checked. So, if you are placed in a situation where you come to you you have an encounter with a victim, what do you think you you can possibly see to help this person get over this trauma? What I can possibly see to help someone get over with trauma. There is something I personally believe in. We are stronger. Definitely. We are better than any challenges we're going to face in this life. It's difficult. It's a lifelong thing. I'm not sure anybody ever gets over me. They just learn how to live with it, how to live with anything that has happened to them and how to pick up those pieces and build a better life. So for me, I'll, first thing I'll tell the person is they are better and just stronger because yes, they are. Some people will just take their life immediately yeah. after that incident. Mm -hmm. Some people, there are some people who will have some mental challenges immediately after that rape issue. But you're still here, even if not completely mentally stable, but you're still here it's trying. There's still a part of you that's fighting slowly. And that means you're stronger than whatever that person might have done to you. Hmm. Well, that's actually a deep one. <laughs> you know, the whole thing is, it's, it's whenever I talk about rape, it's quite emotional for me. It takes courage and strength, like you said, to to still talk about it. Most times I get teary, most times I get so emotional that it takes the better part of me or the best part of me and i lose it because rape is one thing i wouldn't want or i wouldn't wish for even my enemy even if it's um it's it one person raping the person or a group of persons it's still rape is rape is one thing that i wouldn't wish i wouldn't wish anyone okay now there's this scenario i want us to actually talk about um a lady was raped um, she couldn't talk to anyone about it because she's scared of what the society think like I said earlier she feels they are going to stigmatize her she feels they are going to discriminate she feels they are going to start using foul words like okay she's not properly dressed she was at the wrong place at the wrong time and all those kind of stuff then after the incident she didn't tell anyone about it then I think about a month after she found out she was pregnant now because she didn't talk about it from the onset 
she didn't tell anyone about the whole incident she didn't tell anyone she was raped she just went to the hospital by herself she got did all the necessary tests to find out if she's okay or not she got all the help she need now she found out she was pregnant she didn't know how to disclose or open up to her family that okay i'm pregnant as a result of rape then her family found out she was pregnant and like okay who's responsible i was raped like they don't want to even buy that idea you were raped and you didn't talk to anyone about it okay yeah she spoke to just one person I think that was a saving grace she had she spoke to one person so the family you didn't talk to us about it we found out you you're yeah. pregnant you're telling us you're raped and shit like that now um after much going back and forth of the whole thing they now said okay fine just keep the baby just keep the child now the society began to talk it was not rape she got pregnant out of her own will if she was raped she didn't talk to anybody about it she lived with this trauma for a very long time at some point she just vanished nobody knew her whereabout for only her for her to to come out of it she came out strong she gave birth to the child and came out strong she stood her ground and started fighting Trying to fight for vulnerable people, trying to fight for um, victims. Now, you encounter this lady and she gives you her story. What do you think you can actually, or how do you think you can be able to, um, is it, should I use the word encourage? Yes. How do you think you can encourage her and advise her? Maybe there is a place I read about one post. It says like, careful of the woman who single-handedly killed herself. Hmm. It's actually a deep one. <laughs> that lady is powerful. She is strong to single-handedly your ground, heal yourself, hold your head up high, to even give birth to that baby. It requires a strength of like 50 powerful men. Definitely. I guess men, because there's money to say that men are stronger, stronger than yeah. men. But I feel like emotionally, men, women are stronger though. Sorry to yeah. the men. I don't mean it any <laughs> That woman, the only support I think I can give her uh, just my one to one, one, one simple time to say my advice and helping her try to make a change in the lives of victims. Because to me, that's a consolation of her baby. I see kids as consolations to everything we're going through. Sometimes it's difficult for victims to keep their baby. And I understand because most times when you look at that baby, you immediately get a flashback of what happened to you. This baby is as a result of this. And this baby is why I'm going through all this stress. Because some people will be like, sometimes the society will just skip or forget the fact that you're weak once there is no evidence, yes. a lifetime evidence. evidence. Of it. But a baby is a lifetime evidence. Remind us of you being with. so most times when the society see, society see that baby i'll be like that picking where she gets when they rape her you understand mm -hmm. and it gets to that person and even the child yeah because the child will feel like i wasn't planned 
Yeah. I wasn't born out of love. No. I was born out of a situation, a pleasant situation. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So, so it's difficult most times for that parent to keep that baby. But for a lady who decides to keep a baby, I was gotten out of rape. She's a very strong baby woman. And I just hope they see that baby as a consolation for all the things they are going through. Wow. Okay. We've heard it from Marjan, so please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> Welcome back on the live show with Sinusure. With me in the studio is still our guest, Marijan. So welcome back, Marijan. <laughs> um, okay. Um, you were saying something earlier before we went on the break. Yeah. All right. So yeah, this this lady, mm-hmm. this lady I actually know. She she was a victim twice, wow. and from both experiences. She has babies. Oh, yes. First, experience she had a boy, and the second, she had a girl. Oh. The first one, I think it was close to her wedding period. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. It was, I can difficult. Will I say difficult? I feel like difficult is not enough, enough to kind of. of explain it but it was like hell on earth for her mm. her mom was late mm. she had only her dad and this guy has been taking care of her for a very long time and you know that african that normal human yeah. thing when this guy is taking care of you so he's sure to marry you you can't even not marry him mm. you'd be like she's a good digger she just yes. used him for his money forget that like, can change. Yeah. So she got raped and like every other girl she was kept yeah. How am I going to say I got raped? What am I going to tell me who believe me? And she's this lady, she's used to wearing very short clothes. Everybody said, this is your short clothes, you're not gonna change. You want my receipt to wear short clothes. She's like, so it was difficult for her to say. She didn't even tell the guy she wanted to marry. Wedding plan was still going on until boom. Just a few months, I guess it was a month or week, she got to find out she was pregnant. How is she going to start explaining she's pregnant? First, she confided in her friend who was like, to wait to what you would wait to happen don't happen. Just talk and remember the past. Yeah. Very easy to say. It was very easy. The most painful part of it was my friend. Because she was like she was she was she was still like, this is my friend, she be like my sister. Mm. Me, this girl get my back anytime. Two for seven anytime. Her friend went behind her back and told her fiance. Hmm. It would have been better if she said, You know, they're gonna. I have something to tell you. Your fiance was weak, but she doesn't know how to tell you. So, I, no, 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 that was not She didn't go about it the right way. She was like, oh. The women don't carry very little. She didn't feel himself having the river. You get it? Yeah. And like, you borrowed money. The guy was like, she carried the last she carried the leg. She called the clips and I didn't remember. The guy was very like, maybe I just joke, joke. Mm. No matter now, the guy went and meets his girlfriend and he was like, I heard this. She was like, oh, It's your friend now. Your friend told me. So I was like, I think it's one of you who guys planned to know if the man is what he is. She was like, Yes, it's true. She was like, so it's true. Who got you pregnant? She was like, it's real. Like, yeah, my friend first said they, they claimed an Arabian So he wanted to actually 
pin somebody's son on me or somebody's child. She was like, no, it was actually we for this guy to like. I was had one. Went out. The wedding was off. The friend. And she was like, eh. she came about us. And that's not what I meant. Oh, I was just trying to help you. <laughs> help. After some few months, she got to realize she got to find out that the friend married the man at the end. She had only her dad, and her dad married, we married. Her stepmom was not funny. Mm. Her life it was like from everything is like from fine part to fire. Yeah. She had to care for the baby alone. It was like it was like she was the only person on earth. Mm. Nobody else. No support. And everybody who mock hard every single opportunity and they claim say you rape you when they rape you who you tell what thing you do you lock up the lay come come call it in a rape then rape you all this kind of stuff the lady was really finding it difficult about the fact that her mom was not around you know mothers god bless our mothers they have yeah. a way of consoling us even yeah. when they are in pain yes. even when they're not happy with the things we do but they still have a way of making things a little bit easy for us yeah. so her life was kind of up and down she really struggled and after all the things she gave birth after giving birth it was even difficult for had to get another guy to talk to her. They were like, thank you, we'll carry bread close to wedlock. The guy went on so far for her day She mm-hmm. go carry bread for some mm-hmm. more years for company. All these kind of stories, stories. Mm-hmm. And every, every guy was like, hmm, if you can do that thing to a guy that has, that has been taking care of you, you'll be from that just met. So it was really difficult. She was trying to pick up the pieces of her life. She moved from that city to another city. She was like, let me just start all, all over again. So she moved to another city. She had a baby boy and she was going. It wasn't difficult, but she was pushing. She, I think she's, I would say she's one of the strongest lady I know. Because even when there was a time where she was like, somebody was like, you were best, you were there with I mean, you claim to their rape you. She said, eh, even if not claim to their rape me, now you their rape. She not me their rape. You know, my carry my course now. <laughs> so she normally said things like that. Like that yeah. But deep down, she was hot. It was hot. So it kept going like that until one fateful day, her house was sacked by some guys and another rape mm. incident. And she got pregnant again. Okay. Oh, another baby. Kim is the one mother of two. Yes, these days it's kind of much easier to be a single mother. No, it's actually a trend. Yes, but still, there are still some people who say like two kids, not married. And you say, oh, the rape. As in, like, but you fully had him rape you two times. I don't understand. She didn't ask for Does it. Does somebody plan to be raped? Like, I don't get it. I was like, some, I don't even get the story. Like, I didn't rape you two times. They say, we was beating her legs. Is it beats that beats the person? It's no beats. Well, it's, and they will say, eh, one person cannot rape a girl. Yes, one oh, person cannot me. rape a girl. Okay, that's why if the guy is very powerful and huge, and you are this small. <laughs> yes, now there are, there, are, there are ladies that are big. They'll be like, eh, how how is possible? Because there's one one of one person that should be like, how guy want to take with me? One guy want to take with me. Which hand you want to take with me? Which hand you want to do it? I'll be like. <laughs> They've actually not seen. May God no carry you into that kind of situation because you'll be foolish. You'll be foolish that you will not know what to do. Your whole sense will be focusing like, no, 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 this cannot happen. This should not happen. You know, because the thing is, you will have a thousand and one solution to a particular situation when it is you not are you. in that situation. Definitely, when it is not you. Yes. You know, people are quick to advise when they are not in that situation. That situation. Like, if not me, hey, mm-hmm. I go kick them. Like, because at, at, there was a time I had to enroll 
um, two of my younger sisters to learn taekwondo because of issues like this. And like, okay, just on the self defense level. But the truth is, sometimes you lose when you're faced in that situation. You lose the skills you lose, at that time. It's not even losing the skill. It's like, you know, out of panic, out of fear. At that time, nothing comes to your nothing head. Nothing comes to your head, and it's like all the other sense of defense most time is blow it. Because that time, fear overpowers you. Like the fear, the everything, like mm, this cannot happen. And sometimes, eh, people, most of the victims are not even afraid for themselves. They are afraid of what society will see. That's what comes to their head first. What happened? How will I say this thing? And they'll forget that I need to see myself. I need to see no, some people are just so overwhelmed and the society needs to stop it. These perpetrators they live within us. They live with us, they came from home. And how does it start? It starts with our parents, especially here in Africa. Our men are made to believe that they are powerful than the women. They are better than the women. They can tick when they like mm. and how they like. It shouldn't be like that. And sometimes most people get those ideas. Some guys get it wrongly. Because if you don't make a guy feel like he can take whenever he likes, he's powerful than the woman, you won't think you'll be able to overpower a woman to win her. You won't even think of taking something from a woman. Forcefully. Forcefully. Our parents should learn to make our men respect the women. Make your son respect his sister. Because if your son respects his sister, he respects someone's sister. And just the way, though sometimes now it happens, you get to see brother raping their sisters, but mm. it's very minimal to the rate of other people, other guys raping other people. Yeah. Because if I'm a guy, I respect my sister. I respect somebody's sister. And if I respect my sister, I won't rape her. Yeah. So me respecting somebody's sister, I won't rape her too. They should stop being like dress, cover yourself. Men should be men are them. Men are tempted. We've we've actually seen cases of um, some rape victims. They will tell you some rape um some rape what they were done because the lady was dressed indecently. But I've had um scenarios and I've counseled scenario of some rape victims that are properly covered. What I mean properly covered from head to toe, covered very well and still. I think I don't know if it's actually a museum or a showroom. I can't really remember. But there was somewhere I saw online or somewhere I see something online like a uh, big place. Clothes clothes of different weight victims. Everything I feel to me, everything that happens in one's life is pre planned. Tomorrow, obviously, you have something you want to eat tomorrow. You've already made your plans. Like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to have um, 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 bread and egg omelette for breakfast. I'm going to have rice and stew for lunch. I'm going to have um, um, potatoes and sauce for dinner. You have already planned how your tomorrow is going to be. So when someone comes up with the fact that, okay, they raped, especially pedophiles, they rape a child, some of them have actually been thinking about it. Yes. Now, there's an Englishman or a wise man once said, what you think or what you consistently do for 21 days becomes a habit. I switched my own to what you consistently think for 21 days is stuck in your head. Now, there's a case scenario of a man, a stepfather raping his three-year-old stepdaughter i saw that video and i cried for days i cried for days i could 
I could barely do a thing for that three days without without that thing coming to my head. I like the whole pain of the girl shouting, a three-year-old child crying and a three-year-old child could actually beg. She was virtually begging for 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 her to have a little space. And the man was just there, just what? Trying to satisfy his self. He was just trying to satisfy himself. He was not even thinking of the pain that the child was going through. He was not thinking of of what the child was feeling at that time. All he all that matters to him was just let me just get this off my body and I'm cool. And someone will wake up and it hurts that we have people that cite just people. I tell people that you can't walk up to me to tell me to stand for a rapist in court and I will consciously do that. Why? Even if he was drunk, it's not an excuse to me. If you were drunk, it was an avenue for you to do it and pin it on alcohol. You had already thought about it from a very long time, right? And you had to execute and pin it on alcohol. It hurts that the society actually is not helping, like it's not helping at all, one bit. Because everyone thinks about what is the society going to say, what are they going to say to my father, what are they going to say to my mother, what are they going to say to my siblings. The society will start saying, ah, this is the brother to the girl that was raped, this is the mother to the girl that was raped, this is the sister to the girl that was raped. They don't really find out, okay, do you think these victims deserve this maltreatment from societies? For the rape victim, I'll say it's not easy. Yeah. It's a lifetime battle. But I just pray God give every single one of them the strength to push through, to push through and pick up those pieces and build something beautiful out of it wow well, okay it, we, we really had a nice time like we will keep talking we'll talk and talk but believe me we're going to have another episode of rape and that time i think i would have to bring another um a, a man into the studio so that would all see it from different angles from the men angle and from the female angle because Obviously, rape is just not on the ladies. Yes, 80% is on the ladies, but we still have men that are raped from young age and all that. So I believe um, we still have you in the studio some other time. Okay, before we go, you we have um, a pillar of fame. So um, <laughs> thank you. What you're gonna do is um, you're going to help us sign. Okay. Probably sign and your name, I don't know. <laughs> but just my signature is fine enough to be on beautiful people. <laughs> okay. okay. So just pick any spot. Okay. Sign up here. Okay. Alright. Thank, Thank you. you. So beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> okay oh i wish i'm the one to win this pillow though at the end <laughs> of the, the whole session okay um we have our uh, only two way of saying thank you for coming to our show but hey pillow is too fine i think i should just take it back home i know it's mine <laughs> <laughs> all right and no problem like then you have to answer three quick questions from us Okay. Mm. Are you ready? Alright. One um in five seconds. Okay. Okay. Mm, you're ready? Yes. Alright. What's your favorite color? Black. Why is everyone liking black for goodness sake? That color is meant for black me is alone. Diamond. <laughs> it's meant for me alone, please. I don't oh. like sharing my favorite color. Yeah, thank you. Please. Well, latest news. Black is also my color. I think I need to change and to look for another color. Okay, um your favorite movie. Wow. Oh, 
record. Five seconds. I have a lot of them. But I love. I don't even know which one I love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just but, have to favorite one. Okay, the favorite one. No, no. Don't laugh, but I love ice cream. So. No, it used to be someone's favorite too. Then, but a lot of movies are coming. No, no, someone I know like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, the third one, the third one. What are we going to ask Marijan right now? Glasses or clothes? I shouldn't have even asked because obviously you are a fashion designer, so I should have asked you that. Loot. All right, no problem. You win. So, um, okay. On behalf of Inside Candy TV and um, TLS with Sign Show, we want to. Do I have to do this? Oh my god, I want to take back the pillow. I'm stretching my hands. Already. All right, Just I want to give in, it to bring you. It in, bring it in, bring it in. Thank you for oh coming. My god. So fine. I like it. I love it. All right. Thank so, you very we're going much. to keep it. Huh? I'm going to keep it. Just beside, beside me on my bed. Where oh. I can always see it. Okay, I think I need to thank you for telling me. I'll come to your house and steal it. No, there's a very big part of it. All right. Thank you very much. It's really nice being here. Yeah. Well, thank you. We we're definitely going to have you back very soon. I'm really looking forward to you. All right. All right. Um. Thank you, and we've come to the end of today's episode on the live show with Sinusher. It's still your favorite girl. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like we said, rape means no. And please, learn to listen to victims, learn to give a helping hand, and learn to report rapists. Until we come your way again next week, stay glued. Bye-bye.